I like these kinds of horses to work with, though. I like a lively one. A dull horse is too much work for me. I'd rather have a horse with too much forward than a horse that's too back, too far back and not moving off. And But that's just me. That's not for everybody. Don't get the wrong idea about the flag. That all it is, is it, as he looks at it, he says, I have an idea about the flag. I don't like it. All the flag is is a long arm. Whatever I do with my arm, I might do with the flag. So my arm might come up. I might rub with my arm. I might drive with my arm. I might scratch or rub a bug off the horse with my arm. Does that make sense? I might, if a horse bites me or is about, is about to come into my space, I might use my arm in a way that puts pressure on. This flag is just a long arm. Now, I'm not trying to get them used to it. I'm trying to get them to think about me and what is my intent. It's, it's not about desensitizing. You hear this? It's, it's, that's, for me, it's not about that. It's about him looking to me. And the flag is interesting, and it draws his attention. You know, I'll rub the rump and then walk back. Look at him sort of get his rump under himself. I guess that's good in a way because when we ride him, we're going to want our rump under him anyway. So I just get that rump a little bit, and then I walk away. This is going to be interesting. I love it because now with the flag, the flag can get tall and get up in the air. The flag can draw his attention around lead the front end through the turn. He's stuck, isn't he? The flag, I can, I can reach back there and say, there, buddy, when you're... <laughs> he can hardly move because he's so, so tense about this. But look at his inside ear and eye. Now, he thinks he's in, you know, dire <laughs> trouble. Yeah, so I want to walk away. It's just kind of funny. He gets so stiff and nervous that his feet have gotten stuck. So by default, meaning what does he fall on when he's under pressure? He, he gets stuck, stuck feet. Uh, it's gonna, things are going to get real, real good because we're going to get him to understand <laughs> forward. <laughs> He'll get it. I don't want to take it under his head by his chest. I always say that's sort of your strike zone. You do that later. I also don't want to cause tons of trouble, but you know what? If his life comes up a little bit, I'll take that too. This is all getting him ready for when we sit on his back. Good boy. Just walk off. There we go. Now, you notice that I don't do many circles, if I can help it. That looks all right. He sort of did that. He knew what I was going to ask, and he did it for me. And this is him moving on his own. Notice the stiff tail. Look at his back. It's stiff. The ears, skeptical, looking behind. I'm going to let him move a little bit. I don't want him to learn to halt. So while he's moving, what if I leave the center while he's moving? Make a nice, long, straight line. I'm going to cut an angle again. By now, you probably understand that concept and halt. He wants to squeeze off to the right side, but he did, he did find it. But let's see if we can take, I'm going to say not that side. Look over here. I'll readjust my rope. Let's try this again. Look, there. You don't have to, and you don't have to run. You do have to get your rump away from me because uh, look at the size of his butt and muscle. Look at the size of me. Let's get that. That's good. He stepped over. <laughs> He's tense, but uh, in an ideal world, oh, and he says he wants to go through that door. Am I letting him get away with it? Yeah, maybe I'm get letting him get away with movement. Too late to correct, too late to come back and redirect, just take it. Let him feel like he's got forward as an option. If he gets forward... We won't get kicked and we won't have the rearing. All plans are subject to change sometimes, working with horses. Now, he's, I'm just going to let him have a little bit to think, oh, it's good. Look at how nice his neck will be. He's a skeptical type. 
He's got that refined, no, slightly dished nose. He's got that kind of those wrinkles above the eye where he probably holds tension in a lot of the time. Nice horse, though. He's going to be great. Going to be a great horse. As long as we don't rush it. Now, I'm going to this time say don't run through that side. Don't, don't go off that way. I want, I want you to stay with me here. In fact, let's redirect him this way again. It's kind of an interesting horse to, to look at and to see the changes. And so, you know, if you think about it right now, I want that flag more to draw his attention to me like this and draw that attention to me. I can, I could block him over here. This will work. This will work. So I'm using the flag more for forward and more for blocking, sometimes you know, drawing him to me, like when he looks to the outside of the circle. Maybe he'll look to the outside of the circle again, and you'll see me lift that flag. See, and help Jer, help draw him around. So it's a, it's a good tool. You don't have to live with it, though. His head's to the outside. This is his idea to trot, by the way. He's tense, though. I mean, he's trying to relax. You can see leans. You can see the head come down and the shoulder. He leans in to the inside. Let's walk away. All right, that might work pretty well for me. I like it. Ah, I like it. And I'm going to say, don't run out. He likes to go kind of run out through the side. He's looking away. I know. See if I can just help draw him a little. No, no, not run off, though. Not run off. I'll bring that front end through. See, that's that side he wants to go. Th he wants to kind of get out of there and run through. Hang in there, buddy. Hang in there. Let's find a backup. Let's reestablish a backup and then halt. Remember, that's where it should start. It's good. He's so tense. You see him lift his hind legs up. and Look at that. Look at that tail swish. That's, that's like a little horse. He's a little horse in a big, big horse's body right now. But that's all going to change. He's going to become real smart. And he should be the light if he's done if things are done well and he's not in a, we're not in a hurry, he will become light and sensitive and a good feel. Step off, notice my posture. I don't want to get greedy, and make him stand too long. I might redirect him the other way. I let him work a little kink, some kinks out here, move a little bit. Uh, I could have some ground poles. We could be doing that, but it, but this is really this is really my sort of the beginning, just the beginning. Uh, what I do is I lift up and I try to get that head up so that they get tall and back up. And on video, it'll look I'm not bumping that hard. I'm more lifting, and then I just kind of lift up. I mean, you can see two fingers when I do this, and I think it looks like. You're really bumping them, but you're really not. I'm aware of them here. I'll show you. I turn, lift. He found it. If I lift, now there, a bump. Uh, he wants to put that head up and look over me. So basically, um, I get tall to say, hey, I'm up here too, buddy. I could even lift that flag up. We'll back up. Good. Let him settle. Let him, here's a horse at the door visiting, I guess. Step that forehand over. Trying to not touch him. Come on, buddy. Oh, those feet got stuck good. <laughs> you get that a little better. Step, step it over. Move that hindquarters. Back him up. He, there's a horse outside the barn, and he sees it. And he thinks, oh, I want to be with that other horse. Let's move the feet. It's his idea to trot, not mine. It's funny because lesson people sometimes will come up to the 
to the ring and they see the video camera and they'll leave <laughs> usually. <laughs> they don't want to. Oh, people don't always want to be on camera. They look at the look of skepticism there in his eyes. Good. Have him look to the side. Very nice. He's going to be time-consuming more in the beginning, I think, which is, yeah, sometimes that's pretty common, but more time-consuming in the beginning because look how much time I took and I haven't even put that saddle on yet, which is kind of interesting. But it'll pay off. And these are all little lessons that he can learn before the saddle. Now, he can kick up some sand and scare himself, go forward. So forward motion above all. Now, this is his idea. He thinks he is, he th is protecting himself. You can see that he's excited, but I'm not. I'm calm. I'm calm. Look and chew. Step forward. Looks like we'll have an interesting video horse here. Yay. Not going to go under his belly yet. I am going to ask him to move forward with the flag. In fact, that's more important that your horse can move forward with the flag or a saddle pad. You saw me do that. You saw me do that with the curry comb. Here I'm under the belly. Got him. Good. Nice and easy. That's not so bad. Walk away. Take that flag off. Have him follow it. Chase the danger. Chase the danger. All right. I'll turn. Come up over the top. The flag helps him stop. Yes, there's a mounting block. No problemo. Oh, he says he's going to back up. I say you step forward. The answer is forward. Halt. Nice. You might place, I'll place that flag. This is a scary side. I'm able to tip his nose to me. Always. Always. The only time I've not been kicked too many times. Uh, I shouldn't have said that. Jinx, but the times I did get kicked, I was not able to bend the horse to me. I was not able to get to their head and bend them to me. So, a little lesson for you. Under the belly, yay, we got it. Move the hindquarters, step off, come over the top, come right over. I'm pretty close to his front end. I feel like I'm a trained professional, but you know, for some people, look at that change there. For some people, maybe you'd be further away. And maybe you, maybe you wouldn't even use the flag at this point. Nose between the shoulder, please. It's funny. Wow. <laughs> I like it. I like energy. Now, if by default, if he's nervous and he walks off with the flag, I'll, I'll take it. I mean, right now, I'd like him to stand. My idea is to have him stand, but here in a second, he's probably going to walk off. And... And if he does, at least he's not backing up, and at least he's not kicking out. See, it's an, it's an option. Yeah. Come forward. Get tall. See, I bumped where my leg would be at the flank. He goes, I don't know what that means. Now there he's kind of creeping in. I'll just slowly take, take the shoulder over. Oh, boy. We need some forward motion. There, there's a little try there, sort of. Little, come on, there's a little try. I don't think he really, I think by being pushy, sometimes he's finding a little comfort, but that doesn't make it okay. But some horses will squeeze in to be comfortable. This is looking great. His tail's swishing. His ears are back, but this is better than before. The side done. Pretty excited about him. Just as far as a nice horse to work with. I like him with energetic. Now I have another one at a different farm that's um, kind of similar, similar horse, but uh, is, is energetic. 
Sometimes I'll use that flag like my leg, step him forward. A little close to me, so I can even get tall and <laughs> look at that. <laughs> a little exaggeration just to help him. Move that hindquarters. How about a halt? How about a backup? Bring the front end through. Let's get our backup going. Back up. We'll bring that front end through. Send them off. Bump where my leg was. Step to the outside. So when I bump with the flag on his barrel, that helps him to understand what's going to happen when we're riding. And there's a leg closing that airspace or squeezing. Good. Let him, let him have a, th a moment to think. All right. Walk past the rear. Bring him to me. Halt. All right. Bring that front end through. I want him to move over. There it is. Got it. Now you notice he's got veins, nice veins, but it's not like we were running a race here. And I, I realize he's probably got thinner skin, but his veins are popped out and it's surely not from the just the work we did because they were like that when I when I brought him in. So it's interesting and I wonder if his heart's pumping a lot of the time. Beating. Halt. Back. It's looking okay. It's looking okay. There. I just want him to halt. Now, in theory, I could move him over if I need to. Look at how I can be up near. Notice how I can be up near his front, but get that long arm, that flag, back behind him under the flank, which is sort of the danger zone, isn't it? I realize he's not comf he, he's getting more comfortable, but it's not a done deal. You still have that tail swishing and the tense the tension and the muscles and the expression, the ear, look of skepticism. So there's a lot going on there. But you know what? He needs to be able to just, there's a point in life where we have to, the horse has to get this done. And all of a sudden he goes, I did it. And he licks his lips. He's kind of licking his lips while he was swishing his tail. <laughs> That's funny. But there's a point where we say, you can do it. You can do it. Now, I have to be careful because there is such a thing as being a little too greedy to where you want too much too soon and all of a sudden you ruin the idea. That, that is much better, much, much better. The only reason I'm touching the halter is to help him look towards me. So I'm, I'm adjusting to fit this situation, bring his nose to me, because otherwise he'd look to the outside. All right, I'm going to walk off. You see him, you see, see him kind of, the life's coming up. Ah, the life's coming up. Let's walk off. I would have walked off sooner had I not been explaining what I was about to do. do you, did you see the life come up? Let's halt again. Good. All right. It's fine. Heads to the outside, but... Now, I could spend a lot of time on that, but let's not. We can do it little bits and pieces of flag work, brushes, and a flag brush. 